everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to improve the effectiveness of your skincare product there are different types of skincare products on the market there are ones that are effective and there are ones that are not effective every skincare brand will now always strive to make effective skincare product and that's what i want to show you in this video to boost the effectiveness of your skincare product you have to do some things of course you have to have the right formula that's why training is very important do not just make product by watching diy videos make sure you go for training i always encourage my student you know to be to stand out of the crowd you have to be to you have to be you know wired with great knowledge acquired knowledge will stand you out any day any time so in this video I want to encourage you to make sure you acquire knowledge. I teach cosmetic formulation at naturalskincareschool.com. I've also, um, also, you know, getting ready to launch my um, membership, training membership options here on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. Now, how do you improve the effectiveness of your skincare product? Number one, make sure you have a stable formula. Make sure you have the right right ingredient in the water face oil face and the cool down face of your formulation that is up to you to know go and acquire knowledge go and learn how to make skincare product very highly recommended at naturalskincareschool.com i've you know trained a lot of skincare brand owner and they are really doing well in the business world now let's move on to improve the efficacy of your skincare product there's something you have to do especially in the cool down phase i mean in this situation i'm talking about making lotion or cream or conditioner or, you know or even shampoo in soap making they call something super fat meaning um after making after your soap has reached trace you, there's a hole you're going to add after trace okay for example you may add x two percent olive oil i'm talking about soap making if you understand what super fat means in soap making super fat will help you you help in boost the property of your soap now let's come to emotion in skincare product we make emotion a lot now make sure you had one to three percent of an anti-aging oil to the cool down phase of your emotion so when you're making lotion for instance or you're making cream when you get to the cool down phase make sure you add this to your formula when you are calculating your formula make sure you add this to it add an anti-aging oil or heat sensitive oil to the cool down phase of your formulation a lot of there are a lot of different anti-aging oil there there's rosehip oil rosehip oil should not be added to the oil phase of your formulation because it's sensitive okay it's sensitive but it's very very powerful it's a very very powerful anti-aging oil argan oil can be added to the oil phase of your formulation that's okay that's okay and um, but if you, if you did not add it to the oil phase you can add a little bit between one to three percent in the cool down phase of your formulation also another very good oil is borage seed oil uh, it's sensitive oil but you can add it to the cool down phase of your formulation depend you have to know the property of your oils that's very important that's why you know first combination training comes in no recite the property of your oil and make sure you use the proper the oil that has the property of the skincare product you are making very important use the oil that has the property of the skincare product you are making you can add a very good uh, anti-aging oil, pome uh, pomegranate oil. You can add it between 1 to 3% also in the cool down phase of your formulation. So that is very, very important. Basically, when you're done making your emulsion, uh, before you add your preservative, make sure you add a little bit of this uh, of any of this oil. It's going to really boost the property of your um, skincare product. Keep in mind, this must be included in your formula. So for those that know how to formulate skincare product you will understand exactly what we mean so when you get to the to the final phase okay this is the cool down phase your emotion must have cooled to 40 degrees celsius right so just add an anti-aging oil make sure you include it in your formula calculation just add it and make sure you mix it very well this will not destabilize your emotion okay it will not destabilize it and then if if it's added to your formula this is going to really help boost 
the property of your skincare process. So keep that in mind going forward. This is what I tell my students all the time. Make sure you research the property of your oil. Depending if you're making an anti-aging or you're making a product for dry skin, for instance, make sure you research very good oil for dry skin. Then make sure the oil is heat sensitive. Because if it's not heat sensitive, you can add it to the oil phase anyway because you're going to melt it. Make sure the oil is heat sensitive. Most anti-aging oil are very, very heat sensitive. You cannot just put them in the oil phase. You have destroyed it. Okay. So make sure you then, when you are finished making your emulsion, make sure you add it to the cool down phase of your emulsion and mix it very well before you add any other actives okay so i hope this video has helped you out this is very important and uh in soap making they call it super fat okay super fat super fat are strong very good and soap making because it's going to make the soap you know uh, highly moisturizing it prevents extra uh, excessive dryness okay so in skincare product i don't know what we call it we don't call it super fat but at least i can call it good fat make sure you had good fat okay to the cool down phase of your formulation and that's about it for this video i just want to share this knowledge with you if you do not know now you are wired with that knowledge don't forget follow my instruction and uh, put it to work and let me have your comments thanks so much for watching remember this is a channel for you if you want to learn how to make stable and uh, safe skincare products. So click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new video. Thanks for watching everyone.